patience, keeping all this lame shit. No one got a brain, they just Topuria undefeated when he arrived at the title fight against Alexander Volkanovsky, and he was able to break through and get the job done. There is an undeniable sophistication to his game. He is a layered striker. He can grapple, he can wrestle. I haven't seen anything resembling a weakness on film, but I think his greatest asset is his ability to stay calm, cool, and collected in combat, and also to exercise some patience when it comes to pursuing a finish. He's one of the best finishers in the division, but it is never forced, it is never bad out of hell, and that's why right now he's the hunted and not Volkanovski at 145 pounds. for this featherweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Max Lost Holland. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Well, if any fighter can go 10 hard fives, it's probably Max Holloway. So let us see how he approaches the early portions of this round. This is a guy who has put forth statistically the most amazing striking performance I have ever seen against Calvin Cater back on Fight Island. You're getting punches and bunches from Max Holloway. Of that, you can be sure. Nice shot there by the champ. So perhaps a sign of things to come, the kickboxer successfully defends. Oh, 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 bad. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, we're 
working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. You guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. This lands the ground and pound strike. He's very accurate in the ground and pound. And it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Oh, a huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling is beautiful to watch, shot, but ultimately, it is the striking that we can show up for. Just over three minutes to go round one. All right, good job. Oh, he's right there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the outside. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh! Oh! Oh, no. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. It's, it's tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, You've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. He passes to half guard. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Oh, he's got his back. So forty at ground and pound from half guard. Now let's see if he can do some damage. He's got to be careful here. Good work from the top here by Ilya Topuria. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Topuria's back in full mount. Right. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Working out the jab, it's good. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he was to try to chase down that finish. That leg kick hurts. Oh, big left hook there. Throws that deep and it lands. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice. Oh, right into mount. Ah, uh, watch the arm. There's the arm bar going up. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working toward the finish. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you got to shove that knee, John. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some tip, and now he's a tip to choke. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. usual suffocating work from the top here by Max Blessed Holloway. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the crowd, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Good combination there by Ilya Topu. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to work on that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, and transitions right into side control. Topuria is in half guard now. Let's get the ball here. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Constantly a moving target. He is really doing a nice job with his head movement here defensively on the ground to avoid further punishment. He isn't waiting until his opponent throws. He's being proactive. Yep, got to be very careful there. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up in a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Topoli is right back to the full mount here. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling watching this guy land from the top position. Now he's going full mount. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands. Passes. Oh, and he's out. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Holloway. Got to be careful, Armbar. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like he's getting tight. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Got to be careful here. Topoli is right back to the full mount. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, big elbow. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Round three next.
You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, good block there. Oh, oh he's done bad. He's got to grab us. He's got to recover. Oh, flying knee right on the chin. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Went back in as his children tested early. Straight left hand. So has got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, nice. Nice. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. him with the straight. Nice job there by Holloway. Topuria's eye starting to swell now. He did a really good job of getting on that high cross and just following the action. Beautiful transition. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Holloway's back in full guard. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the day. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Lock that punch. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Oh, another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something that. Topuni is going for a choke. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. He's up. What's the position? All right, feet on the hips here. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of this back by Topuria. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that goal. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job, pass. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Holloway's eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, three rounds down. 
down, potentially oh, two more to go. We are stop. headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonay will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, Ready, but he has fight. never looked this Ready. good. And that is, good. that is partly because his opponent is not the finish. All right, so here we go with the fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15 minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Double leg lands. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, they're taking huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. And now oh. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned nearly. And back to his feet. Strike by him there, and he can. <laughs> and how much more can he take? <laughs> Topuri is in half goal. Great shot from the top position. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision, because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Got to be careful here. Changing the position. Another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swelling. He can't miss J.A., and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that, and while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you're wondering about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both... Even know that they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Right, guys, come on. Rest won't help here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Well, this fight has been absolutely crazy. Both fighters continuing to target the head and the face of the other. I feel like we're going to get like an ambulance pick with these two guys later. Yeah, they are both beat up. They are both unwilling to take a step back. They are both wearing the damage, but both okay with it in order to have a good fun fight. Big right hook there by the champ. Lands with the ground and pound. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, that font flu choke is tight. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, Dean. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut.
All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't do is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for. Oh! Seconds here. He's flattened him out. This could be the beginning of the end. All the way back in full mount. Topuria's eye looks so swollen now, you've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really open up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. Ready, fight. Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth coming. Landed a solid punch there. Back to the feet now. Mixed martial arts, folks. This is in half goal. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Mm, nice. Look at him attacking that guillotine. It's in there deep. There you go. The guillotine looks like it's locked in. Right now, he's got to be patient. You got to be kidding me. He's out. All right, continuing to target that swelled area, and it is not looking good now. Posturing up now, and now the damage is about to start. You have to fight back. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Topuria. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Ilya Topuria. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, their fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Oh, that's a strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, seems as though his sword, Topoli, is going for a choke. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, it's just a minute. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Holloway's got the full mount. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has sufficient options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, do a posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position. Big, big shots landed by him now. Oh, my goodness. Do you believe it? Jeez Louise! Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight.
Bruce Buffer is here. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 44 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max Blessed All right, so the future Hall of Famer and former UFC featherweight king Max Holloway.